Hello again and welcome back to Dark and Rainy Riften. We're in Riften because before the last episode, we were going to travel from wherever we were, Windhelm, to uh, Riften. We we're going to take a carriage here. So let's just go ahead and pretend like I did. We are going to head over to Fort Dawnguard to uh, take care of uh, more of these quests here. So... Ancient technology. We've got ancient technology where Serene Gerard wanted us to bring her the enhanced crossbow schematic. Gunmar wanted us to kill a vampire. And then we need to return to Isron. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to head back out here into Skyrim and make this dark, wet walk back to Fort Dawnguard. After the last episode, I went around and sold off a bunch more inventory and took care of my own inventory. Uh, I got it down to 157, which I think is pretty good. Uh, another thing that I did was that I gave uh, Serana some other yes. stuff here. Uh, you can see she's wearing a circlet. Anything good? This is a circlet of extreme magicka. It was the best circlet I had, uh, and I thought that might help her because she does use magicka a lot, although I don't know if companions ever actually run out of magicka, but that's what I gave her. I gave her this Elven Shield of Flame Suppression since I'm always casting flame spells around her. And she actually uses a light armor shield, so I give her that. And then um, she's also wearing... Oh, I guess I forgot to give it back to her. I had some, some gloves, these light bracers here. She'll wear these um, that I wanted to enchant, but... I really couldn't enchant it with anything interesting, so they're unenchanted. But uh, I did have these leather boots of dwindling flames that increases fire resistance by another 40%. So I gave that to her as well. She's wearing those bracers. You can see that there. So let's go ahead and uh, make our walk over here to Fort Dawnguard. Pretty much just going to walk in a straight line over there. And uh, we will probably get attacked by vampires, let's face it. As a matter of fact, when I went to... Um, Falkrith to sell off some stuff. Uh, there were some vampires there, but I just went into a store and sold off some stuff while the uh, the people who lived in Falkrith took care of the vampires. There's a cave out here that I don't know whether I, son of a that I don't know whether I noticed or not before. Uh, let's use Kind's piece on this guy. Get out of here. And then there's also a stone out here, apparently. Wait a minute, and then a windmill? Am, where am I? I'm in Riften, all right. Oh, okay, the stone's over here. Okay, well, I don't want to go out of my way to go to that stone. So we'll just keep on walking to Fort Dawnguard. But yeah, there is a, a cave out here, too. But we've got work to do. And it is super dark out here. Get over here with that torch. For a while, I was walking around with um, the like a candlelight spell or the other one, whatever one that one was called. Uh, I mean, candlelight's okay. Um, I mean, it's not necessary, but um, I don't know. Does it really light up all that much? I guess it does a little bit, but one thing it does do is it... I believe it makes me very visible. So I don't know if that's a good thing or not. But it is a very, very dark night. So I'm playing this episode on the exact same day that I played the previous episode, so I haven't seen your comments right. yet. Hand oh. over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. I haven't seen your comments yet on whether you enjoyed that episode or not. I hope you did. Uh, you know what, dude? Uh, walk away now or die. Well, I can see you're not one to be trifled with. Mm -hmm. Let this be a warning to you. Yeah. Yeah, get out of here, pal, before I chop you into tiny bits. Stupid thief. Ain't afraid of no stupid thief. Here is the path to Dayspring Canyon. Seems a little brighter here. Could be just the moon reflecting off of this snowy ground and these rocks. It's a bit of a walk out here to Fort Dawnguard. I wouldn't mind it, 
If there weren't too many more of these go and do that and then come back here quests. I mean, so far I am enjoying the quests provided by the Dawnguard DLC, but um, there's a lot of this go to the other side of the map and do something and then come back here quests. And, uh, you know, I could go for more variety than that. Plus, I seem to get lost here. I mean, this is a great place for a fort. Way out here in the middle of nowhere. I don't think this is the way to get in, is it? Yeah, I think I walked up there before, and that's not the way to go. You have to go way over here, I think. Is this right? I don't know, man. Yeah, I think this is it. I think we need to go way over here. It's a long walk. But we've got uh, business to take care of here. What's this? You guys just standing here looking at each other? Who's this? What can I do for you? Dexian Ev Evicus? My trip to Skyrim has become quite oh, the adventure. This is the uh, the Moth Priest. I forgot already that we sent him Fines here. Keep you safe, my friend. Uh, let's see here. Over here is... Um... Oh, she's sleeping. Serene, I got something for you. Do you have a moment? Gunmar and I have been oh. talking and... Well... We're slightly worried. What are you worried about? We both realized that if Isran's even allowed us in here, he must be really concerned. And if he's that concerned, the situation must be pretty bad. Make sense? I guess. I guess you're a little worried about what we're up against here? Yes. These vampires are a new threat, and a truly deadly mm -hmm. one. Gunmar and I agree that we're going to need Florentius to help. Gunmar and I have a lot of work to do here, so we were hoping that maybe you could track him down. Here we go. Who is Florentius? That name sounds familiar to me. He's a priest of Arche. Well, he was. It's... it's complicated. He's a little eccentric, but we can trust him, and we can definitely use his skills. Well, where is he? Well, that's the thing. We don't know where he is. Haven't seen him in years. I think he had regular contact with the Vigilance, and I know Isran kept track of them. So maybe you could ask Isran if he knows anything? Just keep in mind that he... Well, I might not like the idea. Hmm, okay. New quest here, bolstering the ranks. It's been suggested that the Dawn Guard could use the help of a man named Florentius, a former priest of Arche. I need to speak with Isron to find out if he knows where Florentius might be. But hey, I'm not done with you. Hope you're getting along with Isron. Uh huh. He takes some getting used to. Yeah, don't go back to sleep. I got work to do. I like what Isron has done with the place. It's good to see someone else who's really prepared. Um, I'm back from Raldbathar with the uh, enhanced crossbow schematic. You're back and alive to boot. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. I don't mess around. Hmm. I see. Clever dwarves. With a similar technique and a little tinkering, I should be able to improve the capabilities of our crossbows. I often wonder where we'd be if the Dwemer were still around. Oh well. We'll have to manage with the scraps we find. Here, let me show you how it's made. Steel plate boots of Assuming muffling added? If you have the smithing skills, you should be able to make this yourself at Gunmar's Forge. Either way. I'll have some for sale soon. Uh-huh. Um, hey, why wouldn't Isron like me asking about Florentius anyway? The two of them just never got along. That's why Isron didn't have you go looking for him when he sent you after us. Um, well, she could teach us to do a, be a better marksman, but uh, what have you got for sale? I'll buy whatever you're looking to get rid of. Oh, interesting. She's the first person to say that. Uh, let's see, she's selling some blue robes. 
a broom and some charcoal. She's got a few ingots. She's got an enhanced crossbow. Which isn't that expensive. But, um... I probably can't make this enhanced crossbow myself. Let's face it. And then uh, I could sell her some stuff, too. That's good to know. Well, let's see if she has more jobs for us to do. I've got more leads on additional Dwemer plans. Yep, 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 yep. Those last ones helped me immensely. If you could collect this one for me, it's sure to result in extraordinary success. Mm-hmm. Okay, fine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So now we have another ancient technology quest. Serene so Jard has sent me to retrieve the Dwemer Exploding Firebolt Schematic from Falbathars. She will be able to use it to master new technology to provide to the Dawn Guard members. We're supposed to retrieve the Dwemer Exploding Firebolt Schematic from Falbathars. If we look at the map, we'll see that Falbathars is, um... I don't know if it's on our map or not. Falbathars. Well, I don't see anything marked. So... I don't know where Falbathars is. Maybe we haven't discovered it yet. Huh. I don't know. I don't know where Falbathars is. Hey, Gunmark, get up. If you're putting yourself in harm's way, you'd best be prepared. Take these. Dawn Guard heavy armor added. Dawn Guard boots added. Dawn Guard gauntlets added. Oh, great. More stuff for me to carry. Um, hey, I thought... We're not, we're not going to tell him? Oh, there we go. The vampire at Mara's Eye Pond has been destroyed. Very good. Though I suspect there's more wherever he came from. We cannot afford to relax. Mm-hmm. Well, tell me what I can do to help. I've located the whereabouts of a vampire masquerading as a common citizen. Track him down and dispose of him. Discreetly? Likely, no. The law is unaware of the danger. We will treat you as a criminal if you are caught. Interesting. What is the vampire doing? Vampires enjoy stalking their prey. Passing among us undetected emboldens them. Makes them feel powerful. Untouchable. But we'll put a swift end to that. Can't we inform the Jarl's men of the threat? Alas, the vampire can cloud the minds of those he preys upon. It won't be easy to convince anyone he's other than he appears. The law will require proof that we can't present. And Jarls disapprove of bloodshed they haven't called for themselves. Best not to damage our reputation. Let your actions be as discreet as possible. Okay. How can I avoid trouble with the law? You must be clever. Find a way not to be caught or accused of murder. You'll figure something out. We must be vigilant and self-sufficient if we are to defeat these monsters. Alright, I understand. The light be with you. Um, so he gave us yet another quest, Hide and Seek. Gunmar has sent me to Raven Rock. I am to find and kill the vampire masquerading as a traveling pilgrim. I am to do so discreetly, as the law is unaware of the threat and will assume I have murdered a citizen. This... Why is this not telling me where stuff is on the map? Fuzzy little place, isn't this? Cozy little place. Uh, he, he gave me some stuff that I don't think I'm interested in. Uh, he gave me Dawn Guard heavy armor, which, I mean, I guess is pretty cool. Uh, it has an armor rating of 106, but my exquisite ebony armor uh, has an armor rating, of one, armor rating of 160. I would imagine that if I improved this, the number would go up. But I'm quite happy with my ebony stuff, so I'm just going to stick with it. Wait a minute. The Dawn Guard heavy armor, as it says, is heavy. The boots, however, are light, and the gauntlets are light. Strange. I, I'm not interested in these. I'm just going to sell these back to her. Hope you're getting along with Isron. It takes some getting used to. I'll buy whatever you're looking to get rid of. Well, I'm looking to get rid of this stuff. Although, I mean, there is a part of me that's like, I don't know. Maybe I should um, display this somewhere. But that's a lot of weight to carry around until I make it back to some place where I could display it. 
right? Especially since I was just doing that. I'll hang on to it for now. Fine. All but right. yeah, it's probably pretty unique stuff, maybe. I don't know. I'll hang on to it. Let's go out here and talk to uh, Isron about um, Florentius, but we also need to tell him, or talk to him, not that one, about this one. That, uh, yes, we did indeed bring back the Moth Priest, in case you haven't noticed he's standing right there. I'm impressed you could find a Moth Priest so quickly. Yeah, it is impressive, isn't it? So, um, does he have the scroll? Is everything ready? For the reading? Yeah. Just let the old man know when you're ready. Okay. Speak to the Moth Priest. Oh, boy, I tell you what. I knew it would come to this one day. I knew, and no one believed. Serana sure does like to push me around. So, um, with the Moth Priest safely back at Fort Dawnguard, he can now read Serana's Elder Scroll and learn more about the prophecy that Harkon is hoping to use to gain power over the sun. Let's go and do that one before we talk to him about Florentius. Be on your guard at all times. Avoid sleep if you can. Sleep. Is for the week. Oh, okay, well then count me as weak, because I do like ah, to sleep. Hello, there. hello, how are you? My trip to Skyrim has become quite the adventure. I bet, man. I'm glad you made it here safely. Ah, my rescuer. It's good to see you again. Mm-hmm. Have my companions made you feel welcome? It's not exactly the hospitality I'm used to, but your man Isran has seen to my needs well enough. And might I add... This is a remarkable fortress. I have colleagues back home that would love to study this place in detail. We'll invite him over. Are you prepared to read the Elder Scroll, dude? Oh, most certainly. Let's find out what secrets the scroll can tell. Now, if everyone will please be quiet, I must concentrate. I see a vision before me. An image of a great bow. I know this weapon. It is Oriel's bow. Now a voice whispers, saying, Among the knight's children, a dread lord will rise. In an age of strife, when dragons return to the realm of men, darkness will mingle with light, and the night and the day will be as one. The voice fades and the words begin to shimmer and distort. But wait, there is more here. The secret of the bow's power is written elsewhere. I think there is more to the prophecy, recorded in other scrolls. Yes, I see them now. One contains the ancient secrets of the dragons, and the other speaks of the potency of ancient blood. My vision darkens, and I see no more. To know the complete prophecy, we must have the other two scrolls. I must rest now. The reading has made me weary. Come on, old man. You should get some rest. Because you're weak. All right, we completed Prophet. I mean, he's going to go blind reading those things, isn't he? Ooh, she wants to have a little chat. Speak to Serana. Ch part of Chasing Echoes. Dexion's reading of the Elder Scroll has given rise to more questions than answers. The Moth Priest saw a vision of a weapon called Auriel's Bow. But Serana and I need to locate two more Elder Scrolls in order to unravel the rest of the prophecy. You have a moment to talk. Yeah, 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 let's talk. So, uh, what's on your mind? That Moth Priest, Dexian. He said we needed two other Elder Scrolls. I think I know where we can start looking. Oh, yeah? Well, <laughs> why didn't you say something earlier? Half the people in your little crew would just as soon kill me as talk to me. That doesn't exactly make me want to open up. I got a warmer welcome from my father, and that's saying something. Hmm. So, um, what is it between you two, anyway? Ever since he decided to make that prophecy his calling, we kind of drifted apart. I don't even think he sees me as his daughter anymore. I'm just... a means to an end. Hmm. Oh, okay. So where's this Elder Scroll? We need to find my mother, Valerica. She'll definitely know where it is. And if we're lucky, she actually has it herself. You said you didn't know where she went. The last time I saw her, she said that she'd go somewhere safe. 
Somewhere that my father would never search. Other than that, she wouldn't tell me anything. But the way she said it, some place he would never search. It was cryptic, yet she called attention to it. Hmm, sounds like she was being ca cautious. We can't waste time on cryptic clues. Or maybe your mother didn't trust you either. It sounds like she was being cautious to me. Maybe. What I can't figure out is why she said it that way. Besides, I can't imagine a single place my father would avoid looking. And he's had all this time, too. Any ideas? Hmm. Hiding with the Dawn Guard, sealed away like you were? I was thinking that she was in the castle. Wait, that almost makes sense. There's a courtyard in the castle. I used to help pretend a garden there. All of the ingredients for our potions came from there. She used to say that my father couldn't stand the place. Too peaceful. Okay. Isn't that pretty risky, though, staying around the castle? Oh, absolutely. But my mother's not a coward. That is... I don't think we'll actually trip over her there, but it's worth a look. You know, they're not going to let us just walk in the front door. True, but I know a way we can get to the courtyard without arousing suspicion. There's an unused inlet on the northern side of the island that was used by the previous owners to bring supplies into the castle. An old escape tunnel from the castle exits there. Uh -huh. I think that's our way in. Yeah, I think we visited that. Uh, let's go to the castle's secret entrance, or actually I have some things to do first. Um, hmm, I still have some things to do. I need to talk to Eastron about Florentius. Don't let me stand in your way, then. I'll be at the dock whenever Oh, gosh, she's going straight there. Oh, crap. Okay. Yeesh, we're gonna lose her for a while. I'm ready if you are. Uh-huh. All right. Don't let me stand in your way, then. I'll be at the dock whenever you're ready. Wow. Okay, then. Well, let's go ahead and switch over to this Florentius quest here. Uh, the one we just picked up is called Seeking Disclosure. In order to locate Ariel's bow, the moth priest Dexion indicated that two other Elder Scrolls would be required. The first scroll foretells the interactions of the dragons with the history of Nern. The second foreshadows the defiance of the gods with the blood of mortals. All right, let's speak with Isron about this Florentius guy. Isron is this way. He's probably sleeping. Hell, he might even be upstairs. I bet he's upstairs. Although, even though he said sleeping is for the weak. But uh, I think that he has quarters upstairs. I sure hope that I'm right about him being upstairs. I thought his, I saw him... Walk off in this direction. Sleep is for the weak, huh? I knew it would come to this one day. I knew. And no one believed. So, um... You heard the scroll reading. Now do you believe, Serana? I heard a lot of vague nonsense. You could interpret that a hundred different ways. Only thing that stood out for me was Ariel's bow. That's a powerful weapon, and I sure as oblivion don't want the vampires to get hold of it. The moth priest can stay here for now. As for the vampire, I still don't trust it. So keep it on a leash. Alright. Hey, um, I need to find this guy. His name is Florentius. Maybe you've heard of him. Who said something? Soreen or Gunmar? I thought they'd have learned their lesson by now. I don't trust that man. And I don't want him here. Mmm. Serene thought we'd need his help. I suppose she's right. <laughs> I shouldn't let my personal feelings get in the way. Last I heard of him, he was aiding the vigilance of Stendar at Runvald. He may still be there. If he can maintain some appearance of normalcy, I'll allow him to stay. Okay. Well, now we need to find Florentius. Stay alert. Well, I've been asked to find a man named Florentius in the hopes that he can assist the Dawn Guard. I've learned that he was last seen helping the vigilance of Stendar and Runvald. We need to find Florentius. 
Uh, Runevald is Runevald. Where is Runevald? Why is there no marker anywhere? Am I just not seeing markers? Where the heck is Runevald? So, I have this quest selected. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, so it's just south of Tovald's cave. Certainly within walking distance of Riften. The problem is, is that I'm traveling by myself now. Be on your guard at all times. Avoid sleep if you can. Sleep is for the weak. Okay, Mr. Weak. I knew it would come to this one day. I knew. And no one believed. Should we get training in heavy armor from him? Stay alert. I mean, our heavy armor is at... 90. Man. Well, I could increase my armor rating for heavy armor by 100%. Let's do it. Sure. Let's see, with Fists of Steel. I mean, I never do unarmed attacks. Cushioned. Damage from falling. Conditioning. Heavy armor weighs nothing and doesn't slow you down when worn. Whoa, that's kind of nice. Wow. That might be... I guess it's worth getting... You know, Fists of Steel and that other one to get that one. Yikes. But I only have two perks. I have one and two here. Huh. And over here... Tower of Strength, and then next is matching set. Additional 25% armor bonus if wearing a match set. And I think I am wearing a match set, so let's see here. Um, right now, my armor is at 410. Because I'm wearing all this arm ebony stuff. So let's see if when I get this new skill here... Whoops. Matching set, if that goes up from 410. Even Whoa, 512, okay. With all my preparations, we can't be too uh -huh. careful. Yep. The monsters could strike us at any moment. The monsters under your bed, maybe? Reflect blows, 10% chance to reflect melee damage back to the enemy. Okay. Requires 100. Okay, well that's kind of cool. That we've increased our armor by such a great amount. That's nice. So, traveling by myself now, can I pick up another follower to travel with me? I don't think Serene or Gunmar are possible travelers. Who are these people? Who are you? I hear you're doing a lot of the work in tracking down these vampires. If there's anything I can do to help, let me know. Yeah, you could travel with me. How did you join the Dawn Guard? Something bad happens, word spreads. More bad things happen, people worry. Huh. The more they worry, the more they talk about it. I've been hearing rumors for a bit now. I was glad to find out not only the bad rumors were true. Okay, well it looks like we can travel with her. Mm-hmm. And this person? Yes. Belleval? Seems that I'm the only one of my kind here. Suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Still, it's my duty to help protect Skyrim as much as any Nords, don't you think? Yeah. Well, why did you join the Dawn Guard? Isran is the only one trying to do something about these vampires. I don't much like him, but I can't allow the people of Skyrim to be preyed upon by those monsters. Huh. Okay. Well, what can I do to help? Speak with Gunmar. He has something for you. Interesting. Follow me, I need your help. Lead the way. Okay, well now we're traveling with Belleval, it looks like. Come on, Belleval, help me out. Come on. Come on. Let's travel with Belleval for a little bit. I don't want to travel by myself. Who's this? Agmer. Good day, friend. Keeping well? Oh, we could travel with him too if we wanted to. Keep your neck covered. See, because because this because of vampires. 
Uh, let's see here. Bolstering ranks. Yeah, let's go, uh, let's go find Florentius. If I could figure out how to get out of here. Here we go, here's the front door. Alright, come with me, Belleval. I'm kind of curious to see what kind of skills Belleval has. Oh my gosh, it is beautiful out here. Man, I'm feeling like this is the first time I've ever been here during the day. Because I don't remember that view. Hey, hey, Belleval? I've got your back. Um, what do you got? What do you want me to carry? Uh, you know, I don't really have anything to give to her because, um, I, uh, stored it all a while back. I don't have anything. I mean, will she wear this heavy armor? Uh, well, is she wearing it? I'm not sure she is. Something looked like it chained though, changed, though, when I gave her, um, she's definitely not wearing the gauntlets, but when I gave her the heavy armor... No, nothing changed. She's not wearing it. Okay, I just thought I'd check. Unfortunately, I don't have any of my staffs with me to give to her. So she's just kind of on her own. Let's get going then. Let's go. Let's see here. Is there a shortcut out of here? Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, it's not really a shortcut, is it? Well, it is now. <laughs> You're on your own. I'm going this way. Always looking for shortcuts. She's going to have to take the long way around. She's like, that jerk, he just ran off and left me. So we're going to walk out here, make the walk back. Not necessarily walk to uh, Riften, but we're going to get out of Dayspring Canyon, walk north, and go up to where that dude is. So I'm gonna get lost again. It's not obvious where this path is. She still wasn't caught up with us. Unfortunately, I don't have a torch to give to her. It's like I should always carry a spare torch. I never know when I'm gonna need to give one to a companion. Hopefully she'll catch up with us when we go through this transition here. <laughs> she still hasn't caught up. Is it bad that I'm not really expecting much from her? I don't know that there were like three people just right there that we could travel with. There she is. Bella Ball. Who's this? Who are these people? What are these people walking around? Who are you? What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Go home to your mother. Hey, screw you, jerk. You shouldn't talk to me like that. Why? What are you gonna do? Cry? Alright, listen, I don't want any trouble. Who said anything about trouble? Now get out of my face. Get get out of my face. Who's just walking over here? Oh, it's Serana. Oh, that's so freaking awesome. We caught up with Serana. I'm ready if you are. Nope. I'll meet you there. Don't let me stand in your way then. <laughs> I'll be at the dock whenever you're ready. <laughs> that is so awesome. It's Serana. Uh, let's see, what? Why is this thing pointing in that direction? I'm going here. Can't put a marker here? So, huh? Oh, my marker isn't even showing up. What the hell, game? I mean, I know this isn't the direction we're going in. This is due west. Pointing directly this way. I'm going this way. I don't know, man. Oh, look, a chest. It's empty. Yeah, maybe I've already seen this place and already emptied that chest.
Yeah, there's something wrong with the markers in this part of the world, I feel like. I mean, this is the direction I need to go in. I need to go north. Why is the marker over here? I don't know, man. I mean, I'm pretty sure I only have this thing selected. I don't ha Okay, maybe. No, I mean, I have miscellaneous chosen, but I don't have anything in here. So. I don't know, man. We're going this way. Apparently there's a mine over there. There's a cave right here in front of us. A camp or something out here. I'm not going to be able to get over these mountains. But this cave... I guess it's up here somewhere. I guess. I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to get to it. Fallowstone Cave has been discovered. Well, that certainly looks like a place I want to go in. Fallowstone Cave. The game hasn't sent me here yet. Um... Well, I'll just make a note of it. Look, cave. An exciting place to venture if you know what you're doing. Oh, she's interested in going into the cave. Need to get around this mountain here. Oh, look at this. Let's see if this spriggan attacks us. No, not going to. Gonna let us just walk on by. Oh, maybe not. Belivar, are you fighting the Are you fighting the Spriggan, Belivar? Yep, she is. Oh! Are you fighting the Oh, the Spriggan must have uh sicked the fox on her. Where'd you go, Spriggan? Where'd the Spriggan's body go? Huh. Well, here's the fox. Where the hell did the Spriggan's body go? Huh. I thought maybe it slid down this hill a little bit, but it's not that steep of a hill. Oh, I hate it when I lose a body. It's so wasteful. Here's an elk. Here's a, oh, here's a hunter. Man, all kinds of death around here. I'm going to take your 25 gold, though, and your arrows, and your lockpick. Taking it. <sighs> well, I don't know where the Spriggan's body went. <laughs> Gone forever. No idea. What is going on with the map? My marker isn't showing up. The wrong destination is showing up. This doesn't make any sense. To remove this all together. Now there's no markers on the map at all. We go back here to the quests. We choose bolstering the ranks. And it's still pointing me in that direction. That's what the hell? Why is it? I mean, it's like it's sending me to Riften. I mean, the. It doesn't say anything about going to Riften. Oh, here we go. Make sure I have Kind's Peace still selected. I do. Hey, yeah, uh, Belivar, watch this. You're gonna like this. Oh, he took a bite out of me anyway. Yeah, she liked that. She was like, yeah, that was hilarious. We got another cave coming up. It could be the cave we're looking for. I'm going to hit F5. It's been a while since I saved. What? 
Where is she? Is she invisible? Oh, she's got a crossbow. She used a crossbow on that wolf. The wolf didn't stand a chance. Oh, a spider. Gross. Eh, get out of here with that. Get out of here with that noise. Oh. Uh, whoa, what was... Elk, oh, what? This elk is hostile. What the hell? Elk, go away. I don't want no beef with you. Get out of here. So is the cave I'm looking for in this direction? Yeah, it is. Hmm. Man, another steep slope to climb. What's, like, the real, like, official path to get here? This isn't it. This is too steep. I mean, I might be able to make it up here, but... Belivar's not going to be able to. Nah, I'm not going to be able to make it past this. This is too steep. So what's the... Uh, the sanctioned path to get to this place? Hmm. Well, let's walk around and see if there's a path that goes up. This could be tricky. Very steep. I mean, hell, I'm walking all the way around it. Hmm. Maybe this way? It's still pretty damn steep. Can I even go this way? I can see why I never walked past this place before. Well, I don't know how Belivar is going to get up here. She's going to figure it out on her own. Look at this. Look at this place. Rune Vault Excavation. Steel cuffed boots and a apothecary's satchel. Here's Volk's journal. Let's check it out. Day 14. I knew I should have volunteered for the excavation earlier. For months, Morik had been going on to the vigilance about detecting mystical energies deep in the East Mountains. Said he'd found some old tomes about the ruins of Runevald or something the like. A Nordic chamber thousands of years old. I remember thinking, yeah, if it's so old, how come no one's found it yet? There's plenty of adventurers wandering around these parts. Seemed like most of the other vigilants agreed. We had more important things to do. But Morik took a team and went digging. And when he started turning up a long buried temple, well, didn't I feel like a troll in a dung heap? Soon enough, he was sending back letters to the hall, begging for as many men as we could send. I didn't volunteer at first, still seemed like a myth to me. But when word came back that they'd hit the main chamber, I packed up and headed this way to help. Always did want to be a part of history, and better late than never, they say. Well, they didn't mention that the latecomers would be stuck with guard duty. I just sit up here all day, watching for bandits and wolves, neither of which I've seen. Mostly I just see diggers coming up for supplies. Gotta say, I've been seeing them a lot less regular now that I think about it. Day 19. Alright, it's been three days since anyone's come up. The last one to emerge was Apa, and he just walked around a bit with a weird vacant look in his eyes. Told Florentius and me to come down as soon as we had the chance, then trudged back in. Something ain't right, and I aim to find out what. Volk. Interesting. Very interesting. Huh, there's a Dawn Guard war axe. That's interesting, right? It's got to be something that maybe belonged to Florentius. Well, our follower hasn't made it up here yet. Let's go into the Rune Vault excavation. There's somebody down there. Hopefully they won't be hostile towards us. That'd be a nice change of pace, wouldn't it? Uh oh, he's got like some red mist about his head or something. Something doesn't look right. 
Oh, look at that guy down there. Oh, something weird is going on down here. Charmed Vigilance. Can I uncharm him? So she fights with a hatchet. Like the bite of oh, I hate to kill these guys, but you know, what else am I supposed to do? He's got an amulet of Stendar, that's worth quite a bit. I'll kill you well, it's too bad we can't seem to uncharm them. He is an amulet of Stendar as well. Makes sense, they are vigilance of Stendar. Here, here, torch, a torch. Let's give her a torch. Oh, oh, nice move. Came up behind me there. That's cool, that thing on their head. I like that. That's a neat effect. Amulet. These guys have some stuff on them that's worth a bit. Hey, you. I've got your back. I'm gonna give you a torch. What do you want me to carry? A, a torch. I just told you. Torch. You lead. I'll follow. That sounds like a good plan. Because I totally know where I'm going. Here's a book. Discovering Runevald, Volume 1. Well, let's check it out. Discovering Runevald, Volume 1 by Morik Sidre. I have decided to document our expedition to find Runevald in my journals, with hopes that, should we fail, it will bring illumination to those who follow us. I myself have stood on the soldiers of academic giants to get where we are today, spending endless hours in libraries and private collections. I am certain that there is some artifact of great power to be found in those ruins, one that the Vigilants could find useful in their mission. I do not mean to sound pompous, but I feel as if I am on the precipice of my destiny with this quest. I am certain we are digging in the right place. I can feel it in my bones, and I dream of finding Runevald at night. Even in my waking hours, I can almost hear a reassuring voice telling me we are going the right way. The expedition has had a great deal of luck so far. After only a few weeks, the first tunnel broke through into a large shaft, leading downward towards where I suspect to find Runevald. With just a few bits of carpentry, we have established our first base camp within the mountains. If we continue to be this fortuitous, we shall reach our goal in record time. M. Sidre. Let us take that. See if there's any other interesting things down here. There's a chest. We may as well go and unlock it and just help ourselves to their stuff. They're all charmed anyway. Some gold and a ring. Somebody felt like they needed to lock that up. And here's a little bedroll. Well, I am going to end this episode right here, right now. And um, that was neat. Those bodies just moved, I guess, from the gust of wind. Huh. That was interesting. I hope you saw that. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode now. Uh, and consider the reading of that journal uh, our reading for this episode. I am very tired and looking forward to getting some rest. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And uh, if you did enjoy it, maybe leave me a like or a comment. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again in the next episode.